There are a lot of regulations around drone operations, but don't worry, today I'm gonna to cover some of the highlights. Hi, I'm Jamie Ghost with Gresco Technology Solutions. Today I'm gonna to cover some of your operational regulations around drones. I'm also gonna talk a little bit about FAA's Part 107. We're gonna cover a few topics today. The first one being the remote pilot certificate. In order to operate commercially, you need to obtain your FAA Part 107 remote pilot certificate. In order to do this, you have to go to an authorized FAA testing center and take a 60 question multiple choice test. The next topic I'm gonna to cover is operational regulations. Some of the more common regulations that we get asked about is the maximum altitude that you can fly at, which is 400 feet above ground level, whether you can fly at night, which you cannot, and whether you can fly beyond visual line of sight, which is also not authorized. All three of these, however, can be waived through a request to the FAA. The third and final topic that I'm gonna cover is airspace awareness and how to interpret good airspace. Knowing where your airports are located and what class of airports they are will give you a good idea of where you can fly and what kind of airplanes are going to be in your space. Again, we have great tools and applications available for you to use to give you real-time information on where the airports are located and what airspace they're actually in. Did you know that Gresco offers training? For a list of upcoming trainings, please visit us at gresco.uas.com. On behalf of Gresco Technology Solutions, thank you for watching. To learn more, check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other social media channels and to visit our website at gresco.uas.com. We encourage you to comment below with any video requests. Thanks for watching.